Well, former U.S. Senator Scott Brown made an appearance in Manchester today. The politician spoke at the New Hampshire National Guard Officer and Enlisted Association. He was there to talk about his experiences as a military officer. But at times, it sounded like a politician running for office, fueling more speculation he could vie for a 2014 Senate seat in New Hampshire. Nick Spinetta was the only TV reporter to talk to Brown. And Nick, hey there, what did he say? Well, when directly asked if he was going to run for a U.S. Senate seat representing New Hampshire, Scott Brown said he's not going to comment on it. But he also said he wasn't going to rule it out. What's more telling, though, was his speech this afternoon, which at times sounded like a dress rehearsal for a man who could soon hit the campaign trail. It's so critically important, especially right now, this moment in time, that you stay politically active, that you challenge your elected officials, that you work with your national and state organizations, and you have a voice in Washington, because guess what? It's broken. Washington is broken. Politically passionate, Republican Scott Brown gave a speech in Manchester Saturday afternoon that some would interpret as a Brown for Senate rally. But don't jump to any conclusions. The former U.S. Massachusetts senator says his political career is on hold, at least for now. I'm just uh, trying to recharge the batteries. Is this an end to the Scott Brown political career? Or no, just I, I, I don't think I'm done. I, I've said that before. He's not completely ruling out a 2014 run against Democrat Gene Shaheen, telling us there are people pushing him to get in the race. I get calls from, from everybody asking me to do all sorts of things. You know, certainly I'm honored that they would think of it. And, and as I said before, nothing's off the table, but nothing's on the table either. On Saturday, the speculation heated up as Brown talked about his political victories in the Senate with Kelly Ayotte and his longstanding ties to New Hampshire. Brown owns a home in Rye and believes growing up in the Granite State made him the man he is today. But not for those life experiences of living with my grandmother on Middle Street in Portsmouth for those years, that the kind of stability, I wouldn't be here talking with you. Talking to us, Brown made it clear the Granite State is in his blood. For me being here, it's not unusual. I have nine generations of ties to New Hampshire, so to think that I don't have any right to be up here, I think is uh, <laughs> quite a stretch, to, to, to say the least. Okay, so in the next five weeks, Scott Brown has speaking engagements across the country, four of them right here in New Hampshire.